G'day, welcome back. I'd especially like to welcome my new subscribers and I hope you enjoy the content on my channel. Now if you missed part two of the uh, modifications to the mill, there's a link up there now, you can go watch that first. Now to follow all that up, now that I've got the mill back to where I'd want it to be, uh, I thought it was about time I got on with what I was in the middle of when the shite hit the fan, so to speak, and the neighbours decided I'd make too much noise, and that was the step clamps. And what I was setting up to do was the little arms that go up and down the step clamps. So I thought it's about time I finish them so that uh, some of the upcoming projects I've got in mind, uh, I can probably use them on that. So follow me over to the mill and we'll get started on that. Alrighty, uh, when I cut the, uh, the risers, I had the slope machined into it already. So uh, I could just cut it with the, with the little dovetail cutter. These haven't got them cut in there already and I don't want to overwork this one. This is a new one I ordered while I was messing around with trying to quieten everything down. So what I'm going to do is I rough it out. I've got a little 8mm roughing bit that I bought and I'm hoping it will uh, handle this nicely. So we'll get into it. A bit of oil on there. Either thing up. That's making a bit too much noise for my likings. Um, I've got a little rough depth drawing here, so I might uh, come up and cut in from the top that way and then come out and drop down. Alrighty, that's the uh, the top roughing cut done. But I think you're starting to get the picture. That's taken over 10 minutes. I'll bring you back when I'm ready to uh, to run the little router bit, the dovetail cut through it. Well, Bill, so I've got to say, I've stuffed this up twice. <laughs> Believe it or not, initially I was cutting these the wrong way. The problem stems from the fact that I didn't cut these steps in the same dimensions. So. One is nearly twice as long as the other. So I initially had the, the wider step coming down, but it's not down, it's in. So at the very most I can get two two bits in here, but because I literally started from the top, I haven't even finished machining this away yet, and it's only one and a half millimetres thick, and it still has to have another one and a half millimetres taken out of it. So that would only leave one step here to grab on. So. I think I'm going to stop wasting my time on this one, these two short ones, and abandon them and uh, set it all back up and do the two longer ones and start from the bottom so that I end up with, with two points that will rip on, but this one here will only be a little short one. So when, uh, when, it, when it sits onto here, I'll have a full engagement on one and then a full engagement on two and the next bit will sit down a bit maybe halfway down the side of there, which doesn't matter. But at least we'll have two full engagements. But anyway, like I said, uh, back when I was doing this, I've got nothing to copy in, so I'm kind of making this up as I go, as per usual. Right now, I'm wishing that when I went to school all those years ago, they tried to teach me more than A plus B equals C and taught me a bit of trig instead. I'm struggling with this. Really am.
Well, I reckon I think I've probably got it there. At least I hope I have. So uh, I'm going to give it, call it quits at that, and just hope that it's bloody right. Alrighty. So uh, as you can see, God, this is hard looking through the camera to do this. And you can see that's uh, it's not perfect, but it's uh, it's not bad. And normally when you clamp, it'll come down. So I think. That'll be alright. It's mainly sitting on that top one. I should have cut a bit more out of that. But that's life. So next cab off the rank I'll get in and... Uh, well actually I'm not sure. I think I'll set them up and knock the corners off. Um, and then just maybe knock a bit off the top. And then slot them. Alrighty. So I'll spend a bit of time stuffing around. Setting this at a 15 degree angle with this thing. I don't only really have any, any precision gauges or anything to use for that. So I'm just going to mill this down a bit, down this little blue line here, and uh, see how we go. Run out of tools, uh, this little 8mm roughing mill's about the only decent cut I got at the moment. So we'll get into it with that. I've got some on order, but this water throwing madness that is song crown is still raging here. Well, not the flashes of finishes, but we can dress it up a bit. Alrighty, that's actually both sides done. I did video the first side, but it was so out of focus, I binned it and decided to video this side, even though I wasn't going to do it. Alright, so now I've got to decide whether I want to put a little um, chamfer on the top edge of it. But these being only 10 mil to start with, I don't know whether I should do it or not. So if I don't do that, next will be the slot. I definitely need to uh, pull this out. I've got to take it in there and put the uh, drill chuck in, but I think I must have a bit of, bit of rubbish up in there. Alrighty, so uh, in an effort to try and keep the noise down a bit, when I come to mill these slots, I'm going to drill it all out and uh, and then mill it. But that I don't really want to be changing... Uh, collet chuck and everything over all the time so I think I will drill both first and then I shall uh, mill them out afterwards. Alrighty, let's go. Alrighty, I think you get the general point, so I will uh, bring you back when I'm ready to start milling them out. Alrighty, I hope you're not getting any uh, wind noise in this camera because I've got two fans blowing it, it's so freaking hot. I'm starting to think that maybe I bent the shaft on this thing when I had that little mishap when I was making the uh, nut for the spindle. Because this, I've just messed around with this for ages trying to get the, get the run true, but this is about as true as I can get. But anyway, we'll get on with it. Alrighty, so that's the roughing cut a part of it done. I actually bought this to do this job with. Um, I was having trouble holding the Y axis in place with that. Now I'm going to get that out of there now and get a normal full fluid end mill in there and just tie those sides up.
Alrighty, let's get that up out of there and uh, put the chamfer in there. You can really clean those holes, but anyway. Alrighty, I'm going to call that one done even though I've still got a bit of rubbish up in the back corner of that one. But that will do. Um, I won't make you sit through the next one. Well, there we have it, viewers. Uh, kind of stuffed up a bit. I don't, I don't know why I bothered using that edge finder when neither of these are in the centre. That was the first one. And I think uh, it's out by 2 mil, which is the thickness of that little bottom piece on the, uh, on the edge finder. So I didn't Obviously well, didn't get that right, and then I thought I adjusted it, I thought it was out half a mil. So I moved it over to do the other one, but this one's out, still out half a mil, so I should have moved it over a full one millimetre. But anyway, they, uh, they'll do the job, I think. Doesn't matter if it's not quite in the centre, it's only for me. And I did, uh, I did knock the tops of these down a little bit, and to do that, I had this little timber wedge line around, so I just uh, set that under it on the... In the, in the truck and knocked it two millimetres off the top of them. Anyway, so uh, to finish these off, I want to, uh, even though these have survived really well for about three months without rusting, and these two were just lying around on the bench, these I had wrapped up in some paper towel and smothered in uh, WD-40, and they, they've held up all right. But everything once the rain starts here everything will just rust like crazy so i'd like to blue these and the rises so i'll do that up next well viewers i've just been down the road to get my iced coffee and songkran is still in full swing here the water throwing madness and uh, i thought i'd video this on the way back just to show you what goes on here it's just stupid really this is the bar area just before my village and it's crazy there's now nine bars in the space of a hundred metres and these bar girls they just go stupid look at this lot here it's just crazy if I rode my bike through there I'd have been stopped plastered in a white mess thrown water squirted with high pressure water pistols hoses all the rest of it it's just ridiculous well viewers I've uh I've actually shown this a few times, so I'm not going to do the whole, show you the whole thing. We'll just get started on one of these. I've been given a thorough clean with some uh, with some uh, acetone. Get all the oil and stuff off them. And we've got to give them a good bath in uh, this cold bluing solution. I'm using the Brownells Oxpo Blue. And that's saying I didn't get all the oil off. Well, I, I did give them a really good wash. I'm having battery uh, charging problems again at the moment too. But four batteries and only one of them seems to want to charge. The charge will say they're charged and you take them out. As soon as you put in the camera it says flat battery, change the battery. Uh, damn if I know what's going on. Now, I use these scarers on this and I've been chastised in the past for, for using them and not using steel wool. But in all honesty, I get a much better job using these scourers than I do using steel wool. This Oxlow Blue is a, it's a lot more work than some of the others out there. But it gives a pretty good uh, finish and seems to keep the rust at bay. Once you oil them up well uh, when you're done. I'm also using this scarab because when it comes to those little grooves on the end, it's going to be a bit hard to do that with a bit of steel wool. These ones here, so I can get the corner of this in here and give it a good rub.
That'll be a bit hard, but a bit of steel wool, I think. Alrighty, I'll give another crack. Take three or four cracks at this to uh, to get them up to scratch. But, um, Paper to sit it on and rub it a bit better. Alrighty, I think you've seen me doing enough of that. I'll bring you back when I'm done. Alrighty, so they're all done now. I've got them soaking in some palm tree oil. I haven't used uh, that before. Have you been using slideway oil? But we'll see how this goes. I did see somewhere that they reckon that uh, vegetable oils and things do just as good a job. So she must be raised back from up north. And now that the water madness has stopped, it ended yesterday. She wants to go shopping. So I'll leave them soaking there until uh, we get back from that. And I'll dig them out and give them a rub up with some uh, clean paper towels. See how they look. At this point in the video, I'd like to thank my patrons. Their support is greatly appreciated. Now, I don't have a lot to offer uh, patrons. And just a continued support helps me make these videos because uh, without some support I'll eventually run out of money and I won't be able to do this. Now if you don't want to become a patron uh, there's always that you could buy me a coffee there's a link down there in the description for that as is the patron link patreon link or you could toss me a couple of dollars via that thanks button down there every little bit helps. Well I gotta say these came up pretty good um, mind you these two uh, two arms came up better the finish came up better than the two risers but these risers were uh, a bit of scrap binium that I bought from out at the scrap dealer and the finish on them is not fantastic it's like a bit of a patch on the side of that one there and a bit blotchy on this side here considering at one stage I thought I'd never I might never get to finish these I'm actually pretty happy despite the fact that those slots are not in the center and I screwed up the short ones uh, I'm reasonably happy how all this came out and I think I shall get some good use out of them in some upcoming projects So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, Even though I did stuff it up and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye